Well, the real thing about the TT that year was the weather, the rain. It was dry, it was then inconsistently wet, it was then torrential. And you could see how these guys dealt with it. And let's remember, these aren't modern, super slick, super efficient racing cars. They are historic cars that are 50, 60 years old. Already from the start of the race, I think, you know, you saw these black clouds coming in. Uh, and I kept driving and I saw these clouds come closer and closer and then it started spitting a bit and then, you know, and then it started really raining. So, it, it, you know, you could see that coming from 10 miles ahead, you know. It... What that does, the wet weather, it's a great leveller of machinery and the race becomes much more about the driver's skill and how well he can use whatever his car's shortcomings are in the wet. There was car everywhere, you know, and then there is, at a certain point in the race, there is always one car that has worked better than the other. So we, the track was drying somewhere, and there was that tip, that uh, Maserati that was very fast and starting to go through the field. Then there was the, the Cobra was getting slower, was getting better. Then after it was really a changing, it was a tough race. You had to really calculate everything on it. And, uh, and on top of that, you got a car which which is quite expensive in your hands, and you just need to, to bring it back in one piece. In these conditions, you know, the car is uh, all over the place, but this is also what's fun about um, historic racing. In, 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 in normal race cars, you know, that'll cost you a lot of time uh, because the tires, they don't operate with the, those types of slip angles. But in historic racing, it doesn't really matter, you know. Uh, you, can, you can overshoot a little bit and you get it sideways and you correct it and off you go. It, it's nearly, it's just fun, you know. So it's also a matter of uh, having fun behind the wheel, you know, to, to me at least, uh, at Goodwood, you know. So um, you, you push where you can and uh, try to have fun and, and, and stay in the lead, basically. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a good recipe, right? What a sight it was. and very few offs. It was just great driving, but no disasters, I'm delighted to say. <laughs>